I was disappointed, however, that many of these investments are not part of the discretionary budget request, something that we want to talk about today and that I at least want to talk about today. Um, this is a precarious position, I think, for the department to be in. Uh, the request leans heavily on new mandatory spending proposals that bypass the current budget caps and bypass the discretionary allocations in the committee. Uh, if the um, committee would follow uh, the recommendation from the department, we would cut almost $2 billion for programs currently funded by discretionary spending in this bill um, and uh, would expect, I, I guess uh, you would expect and the administration would expect uh, new currently unauthorized mandatory funding to fill those holes. Uh, one thing, if that happens, another significant thing, if it doesn't, um, my view would be that we need to figure out how to prioritize, that everything can't be a priority, and so this should be a discussion between us on the committee and with you as to what really where we need to allocate the money we have to spend in your department. It seems to me we the, the department's submission just assumes that we'll solve this problem by mandatory spending and new resources that uh, I have no particular reason to believe that the Congress is likely to agree with. Um, the subcommittee needs to look at what you suggested, look at the cuts that would happen if we just simply would adopt uh, your budget. Uh, we'd, for instance, uh, with discretionary spending, we'd eliminate uh, children's uh, hospital uh, medical education dollars that would theoretically come from somewhere else, but if we assume that's going to happen, there would be no uh, graduate medical education in children's hospitals. Um, the administration's proposed funding increases uh, can only be achieved by mandatory increases. My overarching concern is that whether the department would truly be prepared for the budget you submitted if those mandatory programs don't uh, happen. Uh, and I think it's something we should all be very thoughtful about because once we uh, get through this process and those don't occur, uh, that would mean a billion dollar cut in the National Institute of Health. It would mean, as I just suggested, no money for graduate medical education at children's hospitals. Uh, so I, I don't agree with the approach, uh, but maybe you can assure us as to how that approach is going to have more success than I think it's likely to have. Uh, but I, I do want to complete my opening remarks by saying I, I think you bring great capacity to this job. Uh, I appreciate your openness to discuss these and other issues, not only to be here today, but you've really been extraordinary at reaching out to talk about the challenges that the department faces and uh, look forward to continuing. Uh, that discussion. I'm pleased now to recognize Senator Murray for her opening comments.